Punitive damages. Those words instill fear in business executives who often face lawsuits and the prospect of massive punitive damages awards. In BMW v. Gore, the United States Supreme Court first imposed constitutional limits on the amount of punitive damages. However, Gore left some questions open. The court addressed two of those questions in State Farm Mutual Automobile Insurance Company v. Campbell. Curtis Campbell drove his car in an unsafe manner on the highway, killing one driver and permanently disabling another. Despite clear evidence that Campbell was at fault, his insurance company, State Farm, contested Campbell's liability and refused the victim's offers to settle for the $50,000 policy limit. The victims sued Campbell in a wrongful death action. State Farm assured Campbell and his wife that Curtis wouldn't be found liable and that their assets weren't at risk. State Farm's assurances proved false. A jury at the wrongful death trial found that Campbell was totally at fault and awarded damages nearly four times the amount offered in the settlement. Initially, State Farm refused to pay for the amount not covered by Campbell's policy. State Farm advised the Campbells to sell their home to pay for the excess amount. The Campbells hired their own lawyer and settled with the victims. The Campbells sued State Farm, claiming bad faith refusal to settle an insurance claim, fraud, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. At a jury trial, State Farm was found liable. The Campbells sought compensatory and punitive damages. In support of their request for punitive damages, they introduced evidence that State Farm's refusal to settle, rather than being based on the Campbells' best interests, was instead part of a nationwide scheme to limit its insurance payouts in all types of cases. State Farm objected to evidence of its misconduct in other policyholders' cases, the vast majority of which weren't automobile accident cases, but the trial court admitted it. The jury awarded the Campbells $2.6 million in compensatory damages and $145 million in punitive damages. The trial court remitted the compensatory damages to $1 million and the punitive damages to $25 million. On appeal, the Utah Supreme Court reinstated the $145 million punitive damages award. State Farm successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to review its case.